Um, there's only one, one word to describe my emotions after that came, and that is absolutely fuming. Um, done nothing to deserve anything from that. Um, it's clear to see that Sean Dyche has got Nuno's number. Uh, from a tactical perspective, he has done for the last three or four games, really, that we've played against him, I think. Apart from that first initial game against him in the Premier League, where we beat them 1-0, um, it's amazing to see how Nuno just seems to be rattled by him. Uh, and I think the initial team selection said a lot about how rattled he is. This idea that we absolutely must have some kind of physicality within the squad, within the starting lineup, to to combat them. Just goes to show that, you know, Burnley have got our number and, you know, Otisawi playing in some weird kind of false nine position when you've got Fabio Silva on the bench it made no sense whatsoever, especially if what you're doing it for is to just get him back off for set pieces to help defend. The set pieces, which I don't recall him with any headers on and for the second goal in particular, I think he got beaten by Tarkovsky um to the ball as well. And I'm not I'm not I'm not, you know, discrediting Otisari in any way as a young lad. He look he looks a decent player, but being asked to do a job today that he's so just ill fitting for. Um and then once you know, once Burnley go into a lead, I didn't really see any way of us getting back into the game. They they pulled out all the little time wasting tactics. There was you know, the the all of a sudden these burly physical strikers just unable to withstand any kind of contact, winning free kicks in our half, players going down with little injuries. Um, my personal favourite is when Nick Pope shapes to go and take a short goal kick as if we should be falling for that one and then gives it about ten seconds, has a look around and decides to tell his centre half to go, nah nah, we'll just we'll just boot it up the field, lads, like they have been doing for the last ninety minutes. Um, but, you know, fair play to them. They've um, clearly got a game plan against us and they know how to play against us and we do not have the answers. Um, once we change to the back four as well, you can, just, you know, we pretty much carved a U-shape into the pitch, just going from right back into the middle, out to the left and then back out, all the way to the right-hand side, eventually putting a cross in and coming to nothing. So... Really nothing to, to celebrate about that game aside from Fabio Silva winning a penalty and scoring himself. Um, yeah, absolute, absolute shit show. Can't tell you how angry I am about that game. Disappointing result for the Wolves tonight. All hindsight, you got the team massively wrong. Um, probably should have started up front uh, Fabio with Paul and Neto behind or even with a three behind of Adama Pau and San Neto. Felt another instance of Nuno trying to stifle the opposition instead of getting the most out of our attacking players. Uh, he allowed for the Burnley's aerial bombardment by putting in the logs of Otisarian from the start. And although the young lad did okay, he just wasn't effective in the right areas. Good to see Fabio finally get off the mark in the league. How about built a platform to go from there? He's only 303 goals behind ball now. So, uh, yeah. We move on to Spurs. Another tough game. But Wolves away. Come on. Another straight one. Just poor again tonight. We just didn't really have any answers for anything. Playing the ball into Burnley's hands. They play long ball and they lump the ball forwards. And we have big players that win headers. And we started lumping the ball first 20 minutes we were zipping it about playing well they didn't really know what to do and then as soon as we started lumping it along that was it they knew what they were doing I was just poor again at least Fab's got his first goal he'll be off for Martin hopefully he carries on that scoring Smedo is uh, I don't think we've I don't think he's worth it I can sort of see why Barca sold him now he doesn't actually do anything he brings nothing to the team or so he was Decent, but not great again. Oh, just poor again. Hey, um, terrible. I'm really disappointed. I'm going to try to keep this short, um, even though I have probably an hour worth of things to say about it. Um, but no attacking power up front. Neto and Pedence. I mean, Neto did better than Pedence, I think, today, but 
Neto, uh, he was just isolated. Pedence, terrible touches. Um, midfield didn't contribute anything. I thought Adazawi, he contributed by winning a lot of challenges in the midfield, but other than that, nothing happened there. Um, our subs made no difference at all. Uh, and our back line was asleep. And I've tried supporting Semedo all season, but I'm going to pick on him today. He missed another easy header, and I can't tell you how many headers he's missed because it's been so many. Um, he always gets caught too high and overcommits. Um, I'm happy for Fabio. I'm glad he scored. Uh, I wish it didn't have to be today. But it's got to be more consistent. We can't go from beating a team like Chelsea to losing to a team like Burnley. I mean, respect to Burnley. Um, no offense to them, but it's got to be better. We can't be so inconsistent every week. Um, hopefully, we can get our act together next week against Tottenham. Because if we like, if we play like this, we're going to get smoked. Um, but yeah, I mean, I hope everyone has a Merry Christmas, and uh, you know. We gotta keep on fighting, waiting. Hi guys, uh, it's John again. Um, what a dis disappointing night. Uh, the team just looked like they didn't want to be there. Um, they they just, just give up at the end. I feel like um, Burnley, fair play, they're so defensive. You can't break them down. That's why they've got so many clear uh, clean sheets. Um, I do feel that um, there was a number of individuals in the team that had uh, really bad performances. Um, I hate to say it and keep him bringing it up, but Samodo, I just feel he needs more training. He just really struggles with defence. He's losing the ball. The balls that were put to him, he couldn't make it. I don't know if he's struggling with training um, and struggling with his fitness. Uh, we knew when he first joined us, he was struggling to, to play a full 90 minutes. I just don't know if we maybe have to give someone like Hover a, a chance. Um, but um, I, I just feel like it was a terrible game. Um, we didn't look like really scoring any goals whatsoever. Um, and fair play to Burnley because they, they were the better side. We've got two really hard fixtures next. If we lose 2-0 to Burnley, anything could happen in them too. I just I just don't feel confident at all with the team. Um, I feel like um, even though Matinho has a good game, he um, I feel like he um, he's making stupid decisions, stupid tackles, um, and uh, and and I feel like um, they probably made the right choice in the substitutes. Chirore for um, bringing um, obviously it, it Nori off and bringing Chirore on. Um, I thought Neto and Podence um, could have done better as well. I just feel like the whole team had had had, had a problem and, and there was no um, creativity um, and, and maybe that's why we need someone to come in in the January window and, and pick us up and, and offer that creativity. Anyway, that's all for me. Thanks. Extremely unhappy after that performance. Um... Thought we gave it straight away to Burnley with our lineup. No striker. As I said, yes, we're missing Jimenez. Hopefully in January we'll sign a striker. But for now we have Fabio, so let's play Fabio. We needed a focal point and we clearly missed one and lacked one. We started well, first 10 minutes we looked actually quite bright and then we fell into their trap. We, we were very naive and quite frankly, we, we, we miss a, a nasty streak in us. We don't appeal for much. We, we give up quite easily. We're not a team. We, we don't have any cohesion with us sometimes. I do not understand why we're playing five at the back and Neves then comes to sit there. You know, there is five there. If we're playing a four, it's great as to have a sitting midfielder there, but not in a five. We need players up the pitch to link the play. With no striker on the pitch, with nobody linking the play, we were just asking to go one nil down, in my opinion. And, you know, Burnley, Burnley deserved their win today. OK, we had a penalty at the end there, which I've said we haven't had one all season before. So, you know, that, that, that's a slight positive, but... Paul again, and uh, now Tottenham and United coming next. So, got to really up our game and you know play with some cohesion.